This is the start of our biofilter. It's uh, 30 centimetres deep, 1.2 metres across. Um, once it's dug, we're going to put two mediums in. The first medium will be clay and biochar. The second medium will be pine bark or wood chip. And as we do that, we'll put the centre of the biofilter in place. So we'll show you that soon. Cool. So we're ready to put the charcoal into our clay. We've got two different types of charcoal here. This here is our charcoal biochar that we've made. And um, that'll have to be broken up a little bit finer so that it's more action in the soil. And we went out and we bought some biochar. In this case it's briquettes because we figured that they might be easier to, to get into a powdered form than the coarser charcoal that you can buy. Why might they be easier? Well, in theory they might be easier. I'm not sure that they are because they're hanging together pretty strongly. But anyway, we're going to use this rammer the re to break are... them up. Briquettes are charcoal, fine charcoal that have been compressed together, whereas the charcoal lumps that you buy are hardwood and they are much harder to break up. And we thought these would be easy to break up, but they're not particularly easy, but we'll see how we go with the bigger charcoal as well. So if we look down here in the pit, I've started incorporating the biochar into the clay. So the mix of the biochar and the clay both are going to grab nutrients as it goes through the biofilter. It also means that it's going to tend to push the water out to the sides. And the water will sit there on top of the clay and soak into the clay and the biochar, pick up the nutrients. The plants growing into that will take them up into their stems and then we'll cut them every now and again and they'll get mulched onto the tree. So we're making a bit of biochar powder. Okay, so yesterday we showed you how we had a 1.2 wide hole, 30 centimetres deep. And that's been now filled in, what, 10 centimetres with a mixture of clay and biochar. So what's the next step now, Bob? Okay, so we've got our biochar down. Um, this is the centre of the biofilter. So the water's going to come down this pipe and drop into the middle of here and in here will be a small amount of compost with worms and other critters in there they're going to slowly break down the solids and then as the water flows in here and gets a bit of the heat of pressure on it'll come out these slots and flow laterally out and then uh, we've got a sock here that we'll put in and that means that we can easily just get out the solids that are in there and it gives another little bit of a filtering effect as well. So that's the, the heart of our biofilter. And later on, once we've got the next level up, we're going to put a lid on here and we'll show you that later on. So the next stage is to bring some pine bark up to within about 50 millimetres of the top of this little filter in the middle so that the water flowing out will flow into the pine bark and that will be full of the roots of the plants that grow up from here. We're going to put a bit of a lip around the clay so that the water tends to sit on the clay and soak in there. So the nutrients are going to be taken up by the plants and by the clay and by the biochar. And the plants will be working in that medium all the time and removing the nutrients. So hopefully Underneath that clay, we're going to get water slowly seeping through that's going to be clean. So here's our, our method of testing it. We're not going to have this one on each one, but underneath our clay biochar, um, we've got sand, and then underneath the 100 millimeters under that sand, we've got a slotted pipe. Underneath the slotted pipe, there's uh, plastic, and that, and that means that the water, any water that seeps through, goes onto that plastic layer, into this, in through the slots, down the pipe, and we'll have a plastic bag there to collect our sample and send that off to the lab to um, see what the quality of the water is. So we'll maybe do that 
a couple of times a year for a few years until the council are happy with the result and then we should be able to get a permit without having to pay a, a discharge fee every year. So once we've proved our system, every time we put in one of these, we should be able to get an automatic. We have system. got regional council approval though, haven't yeah, we? we've got yeah. the consent for it now, but it's essentially a discharge consent because they don't trust the result at the moment, so we've got to prove it. Oh, okay, cool. So that's the heart of it, and then we'll come back the next lot of um, forming will show you the bark, the lid, and the planting. After we've done all that, we'll get all the piping sorted out as well, and we'll get into some of the details of the piping. So that's it for now. I've just got to uh, make a little bit of a dish in the clay. Put on 200 millimeters of um, chip. Trees, basically what it is, it's come from the landscape department of the council or something similar. So it's really nice stuff, it's got enough coarse stuff in it but lots of fine. So it's ramiel, it's called ramiel. Ramiel, okay, so it's going to compost down reasonably quickly and provide a beautiful medium for the plants that are growing there. And every year we'll just throw a little bit more off. So that's the... Uh, all the medium's done now, we've just got to put a lid on there, a lid on there, and it's all ready to go. We'll put a little bit of compost inside there just to help the, give the critters a home to live in. And what's this going to be for? What's that design? How big's that thing in the middle and what's it going to be dealing with? So that one there will deal with all the solids from the kitchen. So that's in the kitchen sink? Yeah. Yeah. And we'll, we'll monitor it for the first year and just see how it goes. If, if it, doesn't cope with all the solids that are coming down there, we'll split it into two. We'll make another one the same size, but we think that'll cope. We've had something similar going for the last six months and that seemed to work all right. So, uh, yeah, just make the lids and um, we'll come time. back every month and check it. And then in six months time, once all the plants have grown and things have composted down a little bit, we'll start testing the water. We'll lift the lid there, put a plastic bag on the outlet and send the water away to the laboratory. So, uh, almost there. Cool. And, yeah. Awesome. We'll uh, do the next one. <laughs>